Hello everybody and welcome back to Duel Links F2P Adventures, where I see how much harder it is to play on Duel Links without spending any amount of money whatsoever. In today's episode, I have a Dark Magician deck. Now, I'm a huge fan of Dark Magician back from the anime days when I watched it as a kid. And I didn't quite want to make a deck like Yugi's from the anime, but I did want to center a deck around Dark Magician. In my opinion, Dark Magician isn't very high on the tier list. But he still is very fun to use, and it is a very explosive deck. You can get some OTKs with this deck very easily. This deck basically runs off of like a perfect open hand. So most of the time it is luck, and it can get over higher tier decks, but it needs consistently good draws in order for it to work. Anyways, as for the deck I'm using, I'm using one skilled Dark Magician. I'm using three Legion the Fiend Jesters, which I think are very good for this deck. Being able to get a Dark Magician from your deck or your graveyard to keep bringing it back is very valuable once you've used your Birthright card. And I have one Blue Dragon Summoner, just for the Surge effect. And we're also running two Magician's Rod cards, which are the only two in the game right now, unfortunately. But this card is basically the backbone of the deck. It allows you to search a card that has Dark Magician written in the description of the card. So cards like Dark Magic Attack, Thousand Knives, Dark Magic Curtain, all of which are in this deck, by the way. And it's one of the main ways you're going to get most of your combos out. Most of the time, I use it to search a Dark Magic Curtain when I can't get a Dark Magician out. And I find myself searching for Dark Magic Attack a lot, too, when I have a Dark Magician out but don't really want a chance attacking because of my opponent's back row. And if there's a monster I can't get over, I'll search Thousand Knives. But other than that, I'm running three Dark Magicians, of course. I'm running the only Dark Magic Attack in the game, as far as I know. Two Enemy Controllers for defense. One Dark Magic Curtain, which is also the only one in the game. Two Ancient Rules cards, which are great for getting Dark Magicians out. You don't have to tribute anything, you could just special summon it. This card really helps with OTKs, too. 1,000 Knives, 1 Birthright, 1 Wall of Disruption. Now, I was going to run 2, but I wouldn't know which card to get rid of for the second one. I was thinking Blue Dragon Summoner, but let me know what you guys think. And lastly, we have a Champion's Vigilance, which actually really helps with summoning monsters and uh, preventing your opponent's back row from affecting you. And as for the ability, I'm running Sorcery Conduit. I don't have Destiny Draw yet, and I can play Arcana right now, but I'm mostly playing Yugi right now because I'm trying to find Destiny Draw. I have Arcana leveled up all the way, but I'll use him in a separate video, maybe when a better Dark Magician deck comes out. Anyways, let's get on into the duels. So my first opponent here uh, is someone I faced on Gold Rank. Um, on PvP, uh, I'm... Yeah, I am gold rank right now. I did try using this deck on platinum rank, and it didn't really work too well. Also, because I'm using Yugi and I only have Sorcery Conduit, you know, I'm not running Destiny Draw, I'm not playing Arcana with his ability for Dark Magicians. Um, so I'm a slightly at a, a little bit of a disadvantage, but as you can see with my opening hand here, I opened with two... Magician's Rods, and I used one to search Dark Magic Curtain, and on my next turn I got my Dark Magician out. And I kind of wanted to show off the explosive power of this deck in this duel. Uh, as you can see, he's got a little bit of a strong monster out there, but it's really no match because I have another Magician's Rod. I search Dark Magic Attack, I use it, get rid of his back row. He tries to play the Metal Morph, but obviously that doesn't work. And basically I win. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a very explosive deck, especially if you're not ready for it. So I want to talk about paying life points during duels to get a card out on your field. Now, with Dark Magic Curtain, you have to pay half of your life points to get a Dark Magician out on your field. And a lot of people might be intimidated by that because it's such a hefty cost when you have, you know, all your life points, all 4,000. Now, when it comes to this game compared to the regular game, the regular game you start with 8,000, this game you start with 4,000. And I think that it's okay to pay so many life points as long as you have at least 1,500 left. Because at that point, a small mistake could screw you over. But... The key is trying to get the advantage. Now I play a little risky here because I use my Dark Magic Curtain here when I only have 2,500 life points left, and now I have 1,250. But that's because I can see that I might have an, a clear advantage ahead of me. 
Now he has his Amazon as Swordsman out, or Swordswoman, I should say. So, yeah, I'm a little worried about that. Like, I'm still playing on the edge. He could attack me, and I lose a thousand life points like he just did right now. But, in any other case, like, it, it doesn't seem like much of a risk. Because you are getting a very strong monster out, a very strong monster with a lot of support if you're playing Dark Magician, or, you know... Or even when you're playing Blue Eyes, other cards that require you to pay, you know, such hefty amounts of life points just to get a strong monster out, I say go for it. As long as you have the life points to spare, anyways. But here I get two Dark Magicians out, he has a Maneater Bug, and I lose one, but I still have one left. And I have the, the assets in my hand to get another one out. But it doesn't really matter because I have Thousand Knives to get rid of his face down defense position monster and I can wipe him out very easily. So if you're running a Dark Magician deck or any other deck that requires you to pay life points to get a strong monster out, aside from maybe Archfiends, I think you should do it. In Duel Links, Archfiends are tricky because you because Pandemonium is a thing and you have to pay life points every turn. Or if it's a one-time payment, such as Dark Magic Curtain, I think you're good. Now this duel is hilarious because he fusion summons a really strong monster using Cyberstein. And I just econ it and uh, special summon a Dark Magician. Not that I needed to, but I did it just in case his back row was like econ or something. And it was really funny because he was not prepared for me to econ take his Arcana Knight or whatever it's called. So, quick win! Now this guy is running a Destiny Hero deck, and it was a little bit tricky because he's running the Destiny Heroes that aren't really in the meta right now. So he, I, I didn't see a Decider. I saw like maybe one or two Drill Darks, but he was running Doom Lord a lot. And honestly, it... It, Destiny heroes, I just don't think, are very good. Elemental heroes right now in Duel Links aren't very good either, but once they get more support, like Destiny heroes got with the uh, newest structure deck that recently came out, like, E-heroes will be fantastic. I'm waiting for that day to happen, too. But he's got the Super Rush here, and it kind of sucks because I got a Dark Magician out on my first turn using Dark Magic Curtain, and it was for nothing. Well, I don't know if that was my first turn or not, but... Either way, that's the only time where, like, Dark Magic Curtain, like, doesn't come in handy when you just lose your Dark Magician right away. Therefore, you lose a really strong monster and half of your life points. But, nonetheless, uh... But he did KO my Blue Dragon Summoner, which allowed me to get another Dark Magician. So I have all the Dark Magicians in my deck out of my deck now. So one of them is in the graveyard, the other two are in my hand. And if you haven't noticed already by the length of these duels, they can be pretty short because Dark Magician either bodies your opponent or you get bodied by your opponent. Now because this deck is very explosive, you'll see that my opponent's life points will be very high up until like the turn where I KO them. Because Dark Magicians can easily wipe out 4,000 plus life points in a single turn. And I think that's pretty incredible. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this duel went for me. I used Champlain's Vigilance on Mirwall, and that netted me the win. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Dark Magician deck I was playing with today. You know, I didn't really have the best ability with this deck. Again, I was using Sorcery Conduit. But I will eventually use Arcana with his Dark Magician abilities, and I really think that this deck can do really well with Destiny Draw too, but it depends on if you need to use Dark Magic Curtain or not. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Duel Links F2P Adventures! See you guys later.